everyone, it's Tanya from Tanya Krauss Horsemanship here and you are joining me for Q&A Tuesday. Now normally I like to film this live um, but I'm outside at the moment as you can probably tell and I don't have Wi-Fi so I can't film it live. Uh, this is a really great question, it's about addressing horses that are aggressive at feed time and what I thought I'd do is film a little bit of a demonstration answer because I actually have one. So in the background there you can see Cooper, he is my uh, clinic horse, he's my performance horse. And when you've got horses that are aggressive at feed time, it is all about management and it's all about consistency. So generally once a horse has learnt aggressive style behaviour at feed time, it's all about behaviour modification as opposed to curing it all together and having this happy little horse. I mean, Cooper's uh, 13 years old now. I've had him since he was two. Uh, when he first started being a little bit aggressive at feed time, he was a stallion. He was a stallion until he was about four. And uh, I employed, immediately being a stallion, I employed techniques to help me uh, address the situation. So obviously surrounding feed, if they're aggressive or they've got their ears back or something's happening and you give them the feed, the horse automatically thinks, well, I'm getting not, he doesn't think he's getting rewarded by that behavior, but what he thinks is that um, that behavior is getting him that result. So it's getting him the feed. So uh, Cooper's a really great example because in the last 10 days, we've actually been up in Queensland and he's been behind sort of a post and rail fence and I've been teaching a 10 day clinic. So quite often over the last 10 days, I have been inconsistent with asking him to um, back off the feed and give me a happy look on his face. That's what I want Cooper to do prior to me giving him his feed. Uh, I haven't been consistent in that because what I can do is obviously walk up to the fence, throw the biscuit of hay over the top or chuck the feed underneath. And that's where we start to make the mistake of um, rewarding that behavior. So Cooper is probably gonna give you a pretty good demonstration of what he can look like, how aggressive he can be and uh and and how i address that so i'm just going to go get his feed so you can uh watch it in action Cooper. so i'm going to use my stick and string and first I would recommend if you've got an aggressive horse and you're worried about getting in the yard, I would begin to address it from outside the yard. So you could maybe use a gate hanging um, feeder or something like that and you would start to push them back off the fence and, uh, and start to uh, discourage that kind of behaviour until you feel safe enough to get in with the horse. So uh, hopefully he's going to be aggressive, otherwise I'm just going to show you what I would do anyway. So he's kind of pushing up on me a little bit. He's not aggressive yet. Here come the ears. So he's starting to pin his ears back. And uh, you know, he's kind of in my face a little bit more and you can see that aggressive look or hopefully you can see that aggressive look on his face. And uh, I mean, he's pretty good. He's not gonna attack me for the feed. But if I gave him the feed while he was doing that, he would certainly get to the point where he felt like he could just attack me for the feed. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. So you can see him creeping up here. He's wanting to put his head in the bucket. A lot of us are fighting this and saying, no, 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 I don't want you to do that. So what we really need to make sure is that we're actually get what we want. So I want Cooper to stand back off me and I want him to give me a happy look on his face. He's turning away, so he can either turn away or he can have a pleasant look on his face. He can't stand back there and have his ears back. So there he's looking away. It's a pretty nice look on his face. I'm gonna put the feed down. I'm gonna ask him to wait. The whole thing about this is this is my feed until I tell him it's his feed. And that's where we go wrong. We go, I'm making Cooper's feed. And so immediately when we walk in here, we're walking in, I really like that behavior. I'm gonna turn and now I say, I'm finished with the feed, Cooper. It's all yours, you can have it. Now, if you're worried, <laughs> now if you're worried about a horse that is going to run up behind you <coughs> and um, 
maybe chase you out of the yard or turn and kick out at you, obviously you're not going to turn your back as completely as I did and go, righto, it's your feed. But what you really want to indicate to the horse is, this is mine, you can't have it. And then when the horse modifies their behaviour, so gives you a, a, a submissive gesture. So I want them to drop their head, look away, and I want those ears coming forward. Cooper is very good about standing back there and pinning his ears. And this is still aggression. He's saying, I know that I'm supposed to stand back here with my feet, but I'm thinking cranky thoughts and I'm telling you to hurry up and give me that feed. So if I reward that behaviour, I'm, I'm only encouraging him to continue doing that. So you might have to wait a little while until your horse actually puts their ears forward and you might have to go through a fair bit of stick work to get them right off depending on how good or how bad your horse is at feed time uh, and how thorough the aggression is. Like I said, please keep yourself safe. Um, you can definitely do it from here where you might have a hanging bucket on the fence and you can come through and say, you get right off, right off, right off and start to teach the horse to at least wait and then you can turn and walk away and slowly but surely build towards your confidence in getting in the yard with the feed and the horse's understanding of standing well back. Um, you know, like I said, the last week or so, we've been pretty inconsistent. I've, um, I've um, been in a rush and kind of chucking the feed at him. And uh, so you saw a little bit, but as soon as I went, no, Cooper sort of went, oh, yep, I know exactly what I'm supposed to do here. So as long as you're consistent, that horse is going to start backing up and waiting with his ears forward for that feed to come into the yard and you'll be a whole lot safer. It also transfers to our ridden work, to our handling. A lot of people say to me, oh, you know, it's only at feed time. He doesn't do it anywhere else. But if you accept that behaviour at feed time, if you accept that behaviour at feed time, it is going to slowly start rolling through the rest of your training, handling, riding, trailering, uh, trail riding, competition riding, day-to-day uh, uh, -day rugging, whatever it is, because the horse thinks, well, if I'm allowed to do it here, then I'm allowed to do it over here. So thank you so much for your question um, for Q&A Tuesday. I think it was Andy, so thank you so much, Andy, for your question. And uh, for the others who contributed um, and wrote other questions down, I'm definitely going to answer them, um, whether it's on a Wednesday night live or whether it's in a newsletter. So I really appreciate you guys giving me topics. And uh, thank you so much for joining me for Q&A Tuesday. I'll talk to you all next week.